Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to go over the ceiling function. We'll be using numbers for the Mac. However, for the most part this should work the same in Excel and Google Sheets. A quick definition. The ceiling function rounds a number away from zero to the nearest multiple of the specified factor. Both arguments are number values. Note that the multiple factor must have the same sign as the number to round. So let's go ahead and put our ceiling function in our table. We have our data, we have the number to round and the multiple factor. To call the ceiling function you can hit the equals sign or as always you can go to your formula function button here and remember you have a function helper bar over here on the right. If you don't see it you can just hit the format and you can search for functions, insert functions and find out more about those functions. So let's go ahead and type ceiling we have our number to round input parameter here and our multiple factor here. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark. Let's drag this down. And we have our answers. Okay, so one thing to note about the ceiling function is it's not just simply rounding by using universal rounding rules. It, it calls into effect a second input parameter and that would be the multiple factor. So if you change this multiple factor here, your answer is going to change based on whatever number you're trying to round. So for example, let's just do a quick example here. Right now the multiple factor is 1, so this answer is going to be any multiple of 1. But if we change this to 2, it's going to change the answer to any multiple of 2. So if it changes to 2, it just simply changes the answer to 2. Let's take this example here. We're rounding the number 73 and it's going to round to a multiple of 10. So the closest thing staying positive from 73 using a multiple of 10 is 80. But if we change this to a different multiple such as 7 and you can see that the ceiling updates accordingly. Just remember that the ceiling rounds, however, it rounds according to the multiple factor. So let's do a very simple example. Let's say that you're going to have a get-together or a cookout, and you have 48 hot dogs. And you need to go buy some buns, and you get to the store, and you see that the buns only come in packages of 10. Okay, so to figure out how many buns you need to buy, you can use the ceiling and we use the hot dogs for the number to round in this case and the multiple factor of 10 because the packages for buns only come in 10 and we need to buy at least 50 buns and then just all you have to do is divide the number of buns you need to buy by the packages that they come in and now you know you just need to buy five packages of buns just a very simple example there's many more ways to use the ceiling function and you can actually check out that article on Wikipedia if you'd like to see more ways that the ceiling function is used in mathematics. Okay, so that is it for the ceiling function. We'll be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials here in the near future. Please join us for those and we'll see you next time.